and it's 99 days till we get to go vote, 99 days till we vote. <laughs> And even though the vice president's campaign continues to gain momentum and 200 million in campaign funds, she wants us all to recognize that there is still a lot of work ahead. Still a lot of, so don't get complicit. Complacent. What, what was our meaning? (laughs) It's also, it was just different. You mean don't get safe, don't settle. Yes, what did I say? Complicit means you're going along with it, like we're complicit. So maybe it's not just Joe. a future in comedy. Thank you. (laughs) So what they said, don't get what they said. Complacent. Complacent. Meanwhile, (laughs) her rival made this campaign pitch to the Believer Summit in Florida. Take a look. I don't care how, but you have to get out and vote. And again, Christians, get out and vote just this time. You won't have to do it anymore. Four more years, you know what? It'll be fixed, it'll be fine. You won't have to vote anymore, my beautiful Christians. We're the underdogs in this race. But this is a people power campaign. And we have momentum. Donald Trump has been resorting to some wild lies about my record and some of what he and his running mate are saying. Well, it's just plain weird. Okay, let's talk about what that was. She made sense. What was he talking about? Is he saying no one ever has to vote after they vote for him? What, what is he? There's two Help interpretations. What is He's going either on? either saying you won't have to vote again because I'm going to stay there and there's not going to be another election. That's one interpretation. The other is, dear Christians, I'm going to remake this nation in such a way that it will embrace, you know, the laws will reflect your beliefs that you won't need to vote because it's taken care of. Either I think should be concerning. He's talking uh, about fundamentally scary, changing <laughs> things so much that you wouldn't even need to vote again in the future. Does he think the Christians aren't going to notice, like if he remakes the world, that they're not going to notice he's not living in the world he's remade? <laughs> right. <laughs> well, he also puts us all in a box that all us Christians see things the same way and want the same policies, which some of the most prominent Christians like Russell Moore, it's been a deep Donald Trump critic since 2016. Right. There's plenty of Christians who don't want Donald Trump yeah. in the White House. Well, and if you have to explain it, if you have to explain that, how many times have we all watched it and said, well, they're saying this, but you say, what do you think he meant? You need to rewrite whatever's going on or yeah. like get a script, one yeah. of the two, because yeah. that didn't make sense. It was very ominous and scary the mm. way he said it. But the explanation of it being possibly, don't worry, we'll, we're going to get everything in line for the Christians. That's Project 2025. Well, so yeah. either way, you're saying something pretty scary. Yeah. Well, I want to talk about my girl, Kamala. And I'm going to call her my girl, Kamala, because I have, I, I have loved that woman since hello. And I've been saying for the longest time that she's underestimated and the narratives that were created of her were just not accurate. And I think people are now getting to see that. Look, when she was a number two, she acted like a number two. But baby, now she's a number one, and she is slaying, killing it. Look, I was with her on... Um, on Thursday, I had been invited to an event at the residence uh, on Thursday, and I, I went. I told her something real sassy. That's why she's laughing, because she's got a sense of humor. And the women in the view when I heard I was talking about President Donald Trump, or how he doesn't care, or what he's doing, he's coming against um, Harris, what has Harris done? According to him, Harris don't deserve whatever is happening to her. Because according to him, Harris is a woman, and being a woman, you don't have no power. Being a woman, Harris is powerless. Being a woman, um, Harris cannot do nothing. Harris did not just obtain those things. Harris obtained those things only because she's a woman. Um, Donald Trump went ahead and said, Harris, um, Kamala Harris is not black, is um, Indian. Donald Trump went ahead and talked about Kamala Harris, that Kamala Harris is not black. She's Indian. She has always claimed Indian. Why does she want to come and claim black now? She cannot claim black because she's an Indian. 
they cannot do that because Kamala Harris is not part of them. And Kamala Harris have to, uh, why we he, she be running? Kamala Harris is confused. All those type of things. The hope is seeing that Kamala Harris is a woman and President Donald Trump cannot decide what women will do with their body. Like she has passed abortion. It's not allowed. So women might decide that they don't want the abortion. They will decide what to do with their body. So why will he be supporting such a thing like that? He cannot be supporting such a thing which is wrong. Abortion is allowed. It's not allowed. She should allow the women to do what they want to do with their body. Just like the project 2025. They also talk about um IVF. They are going to stop IVF for women. Um, they are going, A lot of people are being born out of IVF. Without the IVF, a lot of people will not be able to have children. They talk about also about um, IVF. She went away and talk about um, um, contraceptive. Most women will not be able to take it. So you can have 10, 15 children as much as you want it. They don't care about what happened. So um, people will say that which is not the right thing to do. They have to care about the women. They are the one carrying those bodies. So that's how Harry stands for Harry to be able to tell women to determine what happened to them. You decide as a woman what happened to your body. No one makes the decision to you. Okay, they went forward and talk about J.B. Vance. Would J.B. Vance say Harry is not don't have children? And according to him, people who are successful, they all have children, which is a lie. And some of them say that adopting a child is different from all those they are, they are seeing. Um, not putting their yeah, people who just have egg that no having a child means you cannot become a good mother. There are some people who are perfect mothers, perfect parents. There are some people who even have just children. So, why will you be downgrading women? They even gave him the chance to come and apologize, but he did not apologize. Instead, he was just saying something else. So, what do you think about all this? Do you think that JD? J.D. Vance is going to apologize or not? Is he right for what he's doing? And what exactly do you believe that if people don't have children, they cannot really perform with it? You have a child, that's when you can perform with it. Let me see your opinion in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe and help share the video. God bless you. Thank you very much for watching. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe and help share the video. God bless you. Thank you very much for watching. If you are not subscribed, Please subscribe and help share the video. God bless you. Thank you very much for watching. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe and help share the video. God bless you. Thank you very much for watching. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe and help share the video. God bless you. Thank you very much for watching. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe and help share the video. God bless you.